Welcome to Book League Storytime Adventures. For my next book, I'm going to read The Day the Crayons Came Home, written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Please subscribe for more crayon content, as well as a lot of other read-alouds and educational videos. Thank you, and enjoy! One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me, my name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago on the couch, then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your maroon crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as P. Green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, Duncan. it's, it's us. us. Yellow, Yellow and, and orange. orange. We, we know we used, used to argue over which of us, of us was, the was the color of the sun. Of the sun. But, but guess what? what? Neither, Neither of us wants, wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not, Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, you know the, the real color, color of the sun? sun? Hot. Hot. That's, That's what. what? We're, we're sorry for arguing. arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not-so-sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hiya, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was a uh, tan crayon or maybe uh, burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back, your undigestible friend, Tan or Possibly burnt sienna crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, hey, Duncan. Remember last Halloween when we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, Glow in the Dark Crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. 
New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon Red Crayon, P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Er, Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write it for him. This is not fun for me either, you know. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent! Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. Uh, a question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stocky on the head, buddy. Turquoise crayon. Tell him I said hi. Why? P.S. Sock says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother. But I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he meant your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. Hey, there's no dogs down there, are there? Know what I mean? Nope. No turkeys either. Righteous! Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real, Chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period. But it's not really blue. More like lilac. I think, I think that, that door, door is, is for us. us. Ah, there you are. 
I could use a haircut. Err, hope there's not a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Uh, ooh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Make sure it's straight. Then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. This here's a picture of me in Jacksonville holding up the leaning tire of pizza. I ate so much pizza on that trip, that's how I was able to hold up the tire. Anyway, please subscribe to our channel. We got tons of crayon content and other great videos about reading. Don't forget to keep reading because that's the most important thing you can do for your brain. Esteban the Magnificent. Y'all come back soon, you hear?